Good morning and welcome to the Starseed Dragon channel. Um, this is our daily perspective. I have drawn from the Dragon Tarot, the um, Wild Unknown um, Animal Spirit Oracle, the Starman Tarot, the um, Notes from the Universe, the Witch's Kitchen Oracle, and from the Whispers of Love Oracle. So let's get started with, let's start at the, let's start at the um, bottom here with the Dragon Tarot. We drew the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. Oh, and my book is falling apart. Let's see. Ten of Cups. Our guide dragon um, has at last met her life mate. Now the two of them cavort in the light of the silvery moon. Divinitary meaning, emotional commitments, fulfillment. Ten of Cups. Isn't that beautiful? I love the dragon tarot so much. Okay, and um, then we drew two cards from... The Wild Unknown because it's a talkative deck. And the first one is from, let's see what group this is from. Let's see, where is Peacock? Peacock is, I want to say, Air maybe? Peacock is... Peacock is from air. And let's get that. We've drawn Peacock a few times, right? Peacock. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful card. Peacock, inner beauty, compassion, assimilator of anything. The beauty of the peacock is unrivaled. It's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life, so it does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain within its psyche. The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of the self and others. When in balance, confident and kind. When out of balance, can't digest situations. To bring into balance, meditation on navel. And then we got the earthworm, which is from the earth... Um, uh, the earth element. Um, shy, hesitant, reluctant to share inner vision. We have all felt the woes of the earthworm at some point along the way. The earthworm indicates a newbie or novice working to establish confidence in a new field. Others around you may seem wise and experienced, but it's important to remember they once felt earthworm energy too. This card is a reminder not to be intimidated or lose hope. Mastery takes time and you're on the right track. Besides, rumor has it, a beginner's mind offers the most valuable insights. When in balance, earnest, intelligent, valuable. When out of bal balance, self-conscious, apprehensive. To bring into balance, speak up and risk embarrassment. And then we will go to the um, notes from the universe. We got two today. Um, the need to clarity or the need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self serving. What's important is knowing the truth about why you felt the need. 
because it often points to insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. Hi-ho, the universe. Convince yourself, not others. Two, two, two. Um, it sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. And you can. The universe. You have more options than you realize. Beautiful. And then let's go to the star man. Today we pulled um, the moon, number 18. Just let me look that up. It is a major arcana. Okay, I'm going to read this, this full thing, so be patient with me. It's a beautiful card. I love the Starman deck. Uh, the moon, I perceive the truth through the inner veil and its reflection. The moon signifies journeying within the pool of inner wisdom, the subconscious in, inhabits. Oh, the, oh, okay. The moon signifies journeying within the pool of inner wisdom the subconscious inhabits. The moon is the light that shines in the darkness, and her waxing and waning mirror the movements and tides of our emotions. Seen here, she is the woman in the moon shining her gentle light over the waters below. The moon is in synchronous rotation with the earth. This means the same side is always facing the earth and the gravitational pull the moon exerts creates the two bulges in the earth which move around the oceans as the earth rotates, causing the familiar high and low tides. Women's menstruation cycles often harmonize with the cycles of the moon. And in the times of goddess worship, more than 5,000 years ago, women would often bleed together in the moon, in the new moon, considered an auspicious, deeply creative, and spiritual period of release. When ovulation occurred at the height of their creative release during the full moon. Interesting. Living life can be a very lonely path at times, especially when we are transitioning from the old to the new. The path unknown before us can be laden with projected fears and fantasies of loss and failure, but the moon card suggests to look a little deeper and face your fears. It is a time to retreat and reflect attentive to the synchronicities and symbolic wisdom in the outer world, reflecting in the mirror of the inner world. Allow insights and guidance to surface in your dreams and keep your dream diary ready. Remember, we can feel our most desperate or despondent in the darkness, given to flights of the imagination, twisted fears and fantasies. As mistress of illusion, the dreaming self, she holds both the keys and the spells. Deep forgotten memories may be disturbing our equilibrium. Past traumas resurfacing once again to experience the light of consciousness. The healing spiral. You thought you were resolved, but um, up it comes again to be purified. Journey within with the power of guided visual visualization and take the three ethereal water ethereal water barriers in the card. Receive her wisdom. Success in any venture always carries fear and it does hope. The um, the two sides of the same coin. Darkness cannot exist without light. Light without dark. Um, embrace your fears. The moon. 
The dark reflects and distorts. Face your fears, embrace uncertainty, pay attention to what your dreams say. Let your subconscious guide you. Oh, sorry. There we go. Beautiful card. Love it. Starman deck. Love it. Love it. Okay, let's go up to the witch's kitchen. And we got catnip today. Catnip, catnip, catnip. Catnip's guidance. Okay, here we go. Catnip bond. Okay. The bond you share with another is special and your uh, unity is strong. It is a relationship you can trust in, for the pledge you have made will not be broken. If you are looking to secure a relationship, then allow me to draw it to you. Warm my leaves in your hand, then hold the hand of whom you wish to befriend. Store my leaves carefully to, re to maintain the friendship and the bond is sealed. For just as a cat finds me irresistible, so too will your intended. If you add me as an ingredient in a love spell, sprinkle me in the four corners of your bedroom to attract a new lover or under the bed for a night of passion, for I am an aphrodisiac. Feline magic surrounds you when this card appears and indicates that you have a psychic bond with your familiar, such as a black cat. As you communicate silently through the heart center, an understanding flows between you, birthing a magical partnership. So cool. And then last but not least is the Whispers of Love Guard um, Oracle. We drew number four. Let me go to number four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful, beautiful unicorn with the wings. You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. When you are too close to a situation, you only have one perspective. There are so many possible outcomes for this situation. Take a broader look. Release the need to control what is happening and allow your inner knowing to help you. Things always work out as they should. When your soul is experiencing it, its purest form, it has limitless knowledge, infinite wisdom, and boundless energy. You may have developed some negative self-talk that is limiting what you can accomplish. Connect to the beautiful light that dwells in your being and, and represents your soul. Remember that your abilities are fueled by your imagination. Dream big. A unicorn emerges from a woman's being. The unicorn represents healing powers, possibility, and knowledge of the soul. Two swans sit in the heart area to signify the grace that is connected to you always. Uh, trust in your ability to know and you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Beautiful. That is such a gorgeous card, don't you think? Great messages for today. Wonderful things to ponder for us. When we go into our day, I hope that something in this um, uh, poll has uh, sang to you and you take it into your day and make it the best day ever. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day.